Hello, my name is Dr. Aaron Dishno. I am the inventor of Walk the Web 3D Browsing. And right now I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create your first 3D building. To begin, first we want to go to 3D.walktheweb.com. And in the right side you'll see a menu. If you click on the menu it expands. And you're going to want to log in if you haven't already. It shares the same login with www.walktheweb.com, so if you've already created a login on that website, uh, it uses the same credentials to log in here. And then once you've logged in, this particular page that you're looking at is browsing mode. So we're going to want to go to the admin mode so that you can create your building. So top of the menu, we have My 3D Websites Admin. Click on that, and it'll load the admin mode. Now on the left we have the admin menu and notice there's three main parts. We have My 3D Buildings, My 3D Communities, and My 3D Things. These are the three uh, main three 3D objects that we use in creating 3D browsing websites. This tutorial we're going into My 3D Buildings, so expand that section and we're going to want to create Add New 3D Building. When you open that, this page is a search of shared 3D items. Now, whenever you create something or somebody else creates it, you always have the option to share something you've created. So if you've created a building and you want to share it, you go through some steps, which we'll talk about later, but then you can, uh, by sharing it, it'll show up on this list. So then from here, notice that by default, we have a new 3D building from scratch, but there's also a simple house, a construction trailer, a shopping store, grass hut, a small cottage, and you can also type in keywords like let's say I wanted a lighthouse. You can type in lighthouse, click search, you'll get a lighthouse. If you wanted a bridge, you can type that in. And it gives you a way to find different things, but for uh, us, we want to go with starting from scratch, so if you leave it blank and click search again, it'll go back to the home page of the search, which has uh, the empty foundation, basically. It's new 3D building from scratch. If you click on the picture or the select button, it will create the instance of your 3D building. Now notice, to start, it gives you a foundation, and that's all it starts with. You can delete the foundation. There's some things we can do with it, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. But to start, we can. it pops open a box on the admin menu on this, that side that you can name your building. So the first thing I'm going to say is Demo 3D Building. And then notice this Publish Name. This is the URL path that you can use to actually browse your 3D building when it's complete, or even now. If you click on that link, it opens in a new tab. And now you can browse, as I said, we've got the foundation there, so you can browse, walk around the foundation. Going back to the admin screen, the third part of this uh, screen is Google Analytics ID. If you have a Google Analytics ID that you want to track the number of times this building has been loaded and people have seen it in 3D browsing, then you can type in your Google Analytics ID here. Um, if you need more information on that, there'll be a different tutorial to look up to walk you through the steps and what that all means. But for right now what we want to do is just save settings. And now that we've created our first 3, 3D building, notice that if you go to select 3D building at any time, you can you'll have a drop down list of any places that you've created and you can select it from there and it'll reload this in your admin module. After it's been loaded, to get back to the settings where you set the name and Google ID, you can click Settings and Tools, and then 3D Building Information, and it will retrieve that same screen for you. Okay, so for more tutorials and information, uh, go to www.walktheweb.com and click on the Tutorials tab, and you'll see a whole list of tutorials for all the various parts, including what we're going to be doing. Uh, building up this building and also creating communities and other 3D things. So thank you very much.